Yeah, well, obviously, uh, previously the city centre had was a proliferation of large coloured bins for refuse. Obviously, that uh, didn't enhance the attractiveness of the city centre. It's where people come to relax, for leisure, tourists, etc. So we've embarked on a strategy, a pilot scheme in the city centre to remove all the large waste bins from streets uh, and we're working with business owners and residents to bring about a scheme where we don't have these large bins visible in, in, in busy city centre areas. Before this happened, it was an absolute mess, you know, tons of bins sitting out. Um, the bins were actually overflowing. Um, bins that actually didn't belong to our business. Um, we had them from all along West Nile Street. Um, they were actually so stuffed full that we couldn't, um, they couldn't close the lids of the bins. So, you know, seagulls were coming along. It was just an absolute mess and it stunk, absolutely stunk. You couldn't have a customer walk past and have a look out inside our window. Um, you could barely get past with the just absolute mess. And this street in particular became a bugbear for residents staying on both sides of the building. You're coming out at night, there's rats about the place, etc. It's overflowing bins all the time. So I'm delighted that the council's put this initiative into place and they've tied up this wee street. It's fantastic, it's back to the way it should be. Because, OK, the weather's not been great the last few days, but when we do have the cafe culture that Glasgow's getting, particularly over the summer months, all these bars and restaurants benefit, all the local residents benefit, and obviously all the tourists benefit. When we initially uh, were told about the changes, um, there was definitely going to be benefits to us in that the, the lane was going to be clear, we were going to see a big improvement in the hygiene and obviously how it looks. But from our point of view, it was quite a lot of work because we had nowhere to put the bins and no space inside the, the building uh, initially that we could put them. So we had to be a bit creative in thinking, what are we going to do with these bins? Our front entrance is Sucky Hall Lane. Um, so it's always been a priority of ours to have the lane as clean as possible. Um, whether that's bins, even just, we always have our staff tidying the, the lane. Um, as I say, it's our front entrance, so it's a big priority for us. If you'd visited this lane previously, there'd be a line of unsightly bins the entire length. Obviously, if you're visiting, you're using the local pubs, using the local restaurants, it's very unsightly, it's not attractive, and it doesn't enhance the environment. So it's made a huge change. We now no longer have any bins on this side and in the other pilot areas, so it's made a massive improvement to the environment. Yeah, we've got loads of uh, guide dog owners that would visit Glasgow. So we've got people that live in Glasgow, we've got people that work in Glasgow, or we've got people that are just visiting or commuting through to use the different train stations and bus stations as well. Yeah, street clutter is a, a big problem for someone with sight loss. Um, so things like bins or like the advertising boards, um, overhanging branches, all these things can block the pavement. And especially in a busy city centre where there's lots of people as well, it just really jams the pavement up. Uh, when I came here as a tourist and the first thing I thought was that would be nice to have those lanes utilised because I mean there's bars like this that can be used as a, a space that tourists can come down, it's kind of like a European feel. Um, so yeah there was a lot of work involved in planning basically where we were going to put our bins. It took us a little while because we had to start thinking about if we were going to put the bins inside and create a new shelter then were there fire regulations that we had to consider. So there's quite a lot of thought had to go into it and particularly as we originally had eight bins and we couldn't fit eight bins into the space so we then went through the process of saying could we actually manage with only six bins if we just used them properly and made sure that they were all completely compacted and, and well used. We had to speak with our our contract for the bins, um, had a just more regular uplifts, um, but yeah, staff had to be brought in, showing exactly what was going to be happening. In a lot of places, they're used to just open up the bin top, throw it in there, so they had to get used to thinking, right, this has got to go into the correct bin, it's got to be flattened down, we've only got limited space, so it, it was quite a, a retraining exercise to make sure that each of the staff knew what should go in each bin and that they were flattening it down, and then the duty manager checking that they were using it correctly. Immediately now, if we advertise looking down both sides of the lane, people look down and see that it's pristine. And we've noticed already, for even for a launch trade, that we've had a massive increase. Um, every day has been much busier than 
previously. But sometimes it's worth looking at the bigger, wider picture, and certainly from our point of view now, looking at the lane and the fact there's no bins there, it's all nice and tidy, there's no vermin running up and down the street, then that has made a big difference to us. The pilot scheme will come to an end, but we're going to examine uh, the outcome, uh, it's, it's been evaluated, but we'll, we'll look at how it's worked, uh, and then take on board the lessons from that, uh, and then we'll be looking to see whether we can continue the pilot uh, in these areas uh, and perhaps roll out elsewhere in the city. I mean, the clear up has been fantastic. Um, you can walk down the street, um, no smell. <laughs> um, there's no blockages in the drains anymore, which is fantastic. Um, and it's just so much more pleasant to walk past when you're going past the store. And certainly a few people will be mentioning it in passing the last few days we're in because they know the Community Council have been liaising with the Council on the issue and they're absolutely delighted, business owners as well as residents, that it's just giving people their streets back. Getting the bins off the streets in Glasgow is a really positive move and I think uh, people with sight loss or guide dog owners would love it because it, it gives a lot more space for them to walk confidently down the street and there's less chance of them having to go onto the road to get past the bin to get back onto the pavement. I think the scheme has been a success. We want to build on that success. We want to continue the good relations with the business owners and the trade waste companies uh, and, and just roll out across the city and, and just build on the success we've had here.